Hey everyone, I am Trina Scott from Advocates for Youth and we are a part of the Strategic Leadership Council for the National Black HIV AIDS Awareness Day. On February 7th, communities across the country will be stepping up to really discuss the impact of HIV AIDS in our community. Today I want to talk to you about why it's important that young people have a seat at the table when we're talking about HIV and AIDS. Black youth accounted for 65% of the new HIV infections among young people. And here are some reasons why. One, multiple sex partners, either overtime or overlapping. If you have sex with more than one person or either one person, that increases your risk for becoming infected with HIV. The second one, assuming that you don't know anyone who is HIV positive other than Magic Johnson. Now you know, in our community, there are many people who are HIV positive, walking around, interacting with them on a daily basis, but you don't know. You don't have visible symptoms of HIV. And the third thing is that young people feel that they don't need to get tested. This whole invincibility factor, that it's not gonna happen to me, it's gonna happen to someone else, not even someone that I know. But you know what, that is so wrong. That is so wrong. One in five people living with HIV don't even know their status. There are so many things that we can do to reduce the dramatic impact that HIV AIDS has had in the black community. Young people across the country are already a part of this effort. So on February 7th, it's a Tuesday, National Black HIV AIDS Awareness Day, we all have the responsibility to get educated, to get tested, to get involved, and to get treated. Will you join us? Will you?